you have a question for Zoo Atlanta? Well, I'm Gavin Johnson, and I'm here to help. This is Ask a Zoo ATL. I'm at the zoo's World of Wild Theater, where I have Keeper Deidre to answer this week's question. Hey, Deidre, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm doing well. Okay, this week's question comes from at JMB Atlanta. How can you tell a falcon from a hawk? That's a great question. Now actually what we want to look at first is what they eat because every animal based on what they eat they're actually designed to hunt a specific type of animal. Same thing is true for hawks and falcons. So falcons they're designed to eat kind of things in flight like birds, dragonflies, and even bats. Or hawks they're designed to eat things like mammals, lizards, and even snakes. Now usually when we see a falcon or a hawk it's usually up in the sky and all we see is their silhouette. So that's actually a really good way to just look at their silhouette and tell which one's which. So we'll start with a hawk. Now like I said hawks they're designed to eat things on the ground like mice, things that don't really move a lot. So a hawk is going to have a very broad wingspan, very very straight and also on the edge of their wings they have fingers. Not actual fingers but the feathers are kind of open so it kind of looks straight out like that and that's so they can soar in the air. Now other birds of prey, like eagles and vultures, they also have the very similar uh, wing structure as the hawk. However though, let's jump over to our falcons, because falcons, like we said earlier, they eat things like birds, dragonflies, and bats, so things that are kind of more in a three-dimensional state. So they need to be able to chase them up in the air. So when you look at a falcon up in the air, their wings are actually going to be kind of hinged at the elbow. And also, they don't have the fingers. It's very, very streamlined, kind of like a flighter jet or fighter jet, excuse me. And uh, it's so that they can actually chase after that bird or whatever it is they're trying to eat. Now, are they both similar in color? Well, it kind of depends. There's a bunch of different species. Mm. Typically, a hawk is, typically, there are some that break the rule. Typically, a hawk is a little bit larger than a falcon. Um, but here in Atlanta, the way we tell them apart is what sport they play. <laughs> You're exactly right. <laughs> Thank you, Deidre. Now, if you have a question for us, tweet it to us using the hashtag AskAzooATL, and we may answer it right here. Reporting for AskAzooATL, I'm Gavin Johnson.